Welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Warning, this is a rant channel. All persons in this video are real and the events are factual. Satirical speech may be used to comment and criticize on subjects. Hello, hello. Welcome back. We keep you entertained on Backwards News. Okay, I got another crazy backwards story. Let's get started. You see that guy right there? You know, you know he did something wrong. Look at that. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. The eyes of a loser. This is Mr. Alexander Feaster. 44 years old. Hunter, Oklahoma. He's a hard working man. So... His only problem is that he is the neighbor from hell. That's right. He's the neighbor from hell. This motherfucker was sitting at home. And he just snapped during COVID. And he decided to let the cat out of the bag. And let everybody know that he's a damn Nazi. That's right, a Nazi. So he put Nazi flags all around his house. Not an American flag, not no 4th of July American flag. He put the Nazi flag all around his house. You, you can do that in America. You just put any anybody fucking flag outside and you're supposed to have freedom of speech. So the uh, People in the neighborhood, they white, and they say this white guy crazy. So the kids in the neighborhood be messing with him. They they go and steal his Nazi flag from him. He come outside, it's gone. So this is where the story gets backwards. Backwards news. In June. 2020 they was having a party across the street they dared this young lady mrs kendall mcveigh they dared her show how tough you is go over there and steal his nazi flag she said give me one more drink i'll do it they said here here you go she went over there took Mr. Feaster's Nazi flag, start running away. Somebody yelled, he got a gun. She dropped the flag, start running down the driveway. Shots rang out. This bastard, this fucking Nazi, he outside shoot the AR-15 at this woman because she's still in the flag he supposedly shot six to eight times with the ar-15 he hit her three or four times in the back in the, in the abdomen went through her abdomen she in the hospital she lived over a damn flag Police got there, arrested him, everything. He, he gave up and shit. Took him to jail, got a search warrant, went through the house. He had 14 guns in the house. So I don't know if he's a collector or, or they're for the Nazi party and they're going to go to war. And that's the 14 guns is for. Nobody knows. He went to court. They say you fucking Nazi. We're giving you 
thousand dollar bail. You freaking Nazi bastard. His lawyer started talking that bullshit. Oh, he he lives alone and he was afraid and he was protecting himself in self-defense. And and he's an army a uh, uh, Air Force veteran. He didn't mean it. He's a patriot. He's the he he hell he loves America. He don't love America. He ain't no patriot. He a Nazi. A Nazi bastard. So he kept arguing, got his got his bail reduced from five hundred thousand to seventy five thousand. And he go stay with his mama. Stay at his mama house. And he can't have no guns. So now, in 2021, Mrs. Kendall McVie, that survived being shot several times with the AR-15, by the grace of God, she's suing this clown for $75,000 for pain and suffering. Here go his lawyer again. He didn't mean to do it. He's a good Nazi. He ain't low so he wouldn't kill her. But she was stealing his property. And he had to defend America. This don't make no damn sense. And the people that live on his block. They're like Nazis. They they were commenting to the news talking about, oh, he's a nice guy. He smiles and says hi to everybody. And yeah, he cut my neighbor's grass. He's a good Nazi. Motherfucker, can I come can I live on your block? I'm a black guy. Can I live on your block? Could a Jew live next to him? How about a Mexican? Oh, he's a good Nazi. He only he only shoots you five or six times in your stomach. He'll aim low. Bullshit. Only in America. America is a dumping ground for losers. If you don't know, Germany is sick of them fucking Nazis. You go over to Germany. It's against the law to do the Heil Hitler. It's against the law to put up SWAT stickers. Do all that bullshit against the law. It's the only way you can put that shit up if you say it's artwork and it's a masterpiece of art and you must show every blah, 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 blah. Anybody else walking down the street trying to sell some hot, some Hitler shit, the motherfuckers come take you to jail and say, we don't want to hear that shit no more. Get the fuck out of here. Now he, I guess he's still waiting to go to court because I thought this shit might have been over with because it's an old story. For you young people that don't know, in World War II, America fought against Germany and killed as many Nazis as we could. And to this very day, Jewish people are still hunting down Nazis. Talking about you killed my granddaddy. And killing them and putting their ass in jail. Feaster keeps saying he's the victim. And he's trying to flip this whole story backwards. He's supposed to be some damn Air Force veteran that did three tours overseas. And all he learned over there is how to say hi Hitler. That's all he learned. Are you are you defending America? Ha Hitler. Ha Hitler. Well, welcome to America. A dumping ground for losers, idiots, and fools. I'm out of here.